Um, and the guy that she hits, um, she, um, she goes back the next day and to, to see what the hell happened. And the only thing that she can find is a drop of blood on a, on, on a button. Other than that, it's like the accident didn't happen. Her and Retta, Retta's a criminalist, works in the crime lab, tracked down this blood. The blood leads them to a guy who's been on death row for 15 years. So God has led her to a death row inmate, which is a cop and a death row inmate. It's like, what, the, what does he have to teach her? Which I just love. So that's uh, Leon Cooley ends up in prison, the guy that she hits. Um, yeah, should we just show them all right in a row? OK, so this one. Was that um, one of the few, like, was that, like, what n episode number was that? That was the pilot. Pi oh, that was the pilot. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. So this is the first, first episode. Okay. Oh. Do you guys have any questions about the pilot? Anybody got any, any questions, just shout them out. <clears throat> it tested well. Um, tested better with women than men. Um, and the audience reaction, some people, especially after the pilot, um, you didn't really see the opening scene, but the opening scene was really sex, sexy. Um, and they were. The one where she says, I'm not the one who buried. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and there was a lot of, on the internet, you know, TNT's in the gutter, you got to take this show off the air, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I think the more that they watched, if any of those people kept watching, they saw what kind of what we're doing, I hope. Um, but there was some, you know, some <coughs> upset people. Because, you know, you hear, oh, good, a show with an angel. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to watch Touched by an Angel or Highway to Heaven. And so I think they were shocked, you know, at the way, at my approach to this, a lot of people. Um, I'm guessing all the episodes weren't as explicit as the pilot. No, they are. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, even though it's on network. It's on cable. Or cable television. Yeah. We can get away with a lot more on cable than network. We can't get away with what they get away with on HBO. Yeah. On pay cable. Was, that was my next question. Yeah. Okay. But um, on cable, I, you know, we did an episode where, and you'll see part of it, where she was tied to the bed for the whole first act. Hmm. This guy left her there. So, and I, I was waiting for them to go nuts over that, and they didn't, so. <laughs> her nephew, yeah. She's single, um, she has no kids. She comes from a family of, of seven kids, so she's got a ton of nieces and nephews. And another big part, you hear her say in the pilot uh, to, to Retta, why would God save my ass last night, meaning this, and not, and she can't go on, and Retta says, not in fourth grade from Father Patrick Satan Murphy. So there's a hint that something happened with this Father Patrick Satan Murphy. And what you also find out in the pilot is that she lost her sister in the bombing in Oklahoma City. And she was supposed to have babysat the little boy, Clay, that you saw. He had just been born. He's, he, he's 12 years old. The bombing was 12 years ago. And Clay was a week old, and his mom was going down to get him a Social Security card at the federal building. And she was supposed to go, I think the bombing was, it was either on a Tuesday or Wednesday. So she was supposed to go Monday, and Grace was sick. She was hungover. So she didn't babysit. So her sister had to go the next day, and that's the day of the bombing. So she feels responsible and guilty for her sister's death. And she was a rescuer that day. She, she went into the building, you know, saw all that horrible stuff. So she has a brother who's a priest um, and a, another brother who's an Oklahoma City fireman. I, because of where I'm, 
I'm going with this Father Patrick Satan Murphy thing. I wanted a good priest to offset the bad priest. So her brother's a priest. They don't get along. Her brother doesn't understand why Grace hates the Catholic Church. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Well, she started getting abused when she was 10 years old by a Catholic priest. Right, I mean, she has problems with God, with a God who allows that kind of stuff to happen, plus what she sees on her job every day. She's a cop. So all of that weighs on grace, you know? But she has a lot of, you know, I don't, I don't think you can be mad at something unless you believe that that something exists. Grace says, I don't believe in God, but she wouldn't be so pissed off at him if, if she didn't think he was real. So. You know, I, another, uh, the beginning of this, we won't show it, but Grace and um, Ham go hunting, and Grace kills the deer, shoots the deer. So I'm really, I'm going, I'm, go, I'm, I'm trying to be as honest. As, in California, that's not cool. In Oklahoma, you go hunting. So, um, but we can fast forward through. I forget what it said. He wears a different T-shirt all the time, because, and they always have something interesting on them. You know, so I can't remember what that one said. <coughs> Any questions? No, he appears the same. Well, you know, I think so. We haven't really we haven't really gone there yet, but I think so that he would look the same. To them, uh, but like if you like Retta m met him one time, didn't know he was an angel, and then later she goes, I, I was talking to some guy, and she doesn't remember who he what he looks like. So, that so was it was it a dream sequence, or did it really happen that they were up Ill in Athens? It really happened. So why is she the only one who has to wrestle? Because Grace is unique. And Grace is a handful. And th that, that whole fight was a metaphor for she's going to fight God every inch of the way. Earl is here to drag her kicking and screaming to God. And she just ain't going to go easy. So... And I guess in the Bible, there's a wrestling match between an angel and Abraham and an angel or something. Um, in our first, like, uh, six or seven episodes, we took something from a story from the Bible and thematically wrote something to that. Abraham's so, story? Well, this wrestling thing was from the Abra Abraham and angel wrestling thing. Uh, the next episode was... And also in this was Cain and Abel. Um, but we kind of stopped doing that. So. But that's how I, that's what I mean by nothing sacred. You know, this is pretty raunchy, rowdy, um, s silly stuff. And, but we're talking about God. So... And that's how I like to approach it. I have had something to say about this pedophile scandal that happened in the Catholic Church. I, um, you know, I still can't believe how it was handled and not handled. So, so I put it in the show, you know. Um, I'm a practicing Catholic. I go to Mass every Sunday. I love my faith. I, I have a lot of problems with, with the people who run the church and the decisions that they make, but that doesn't affect my faith. 